Hello again, it's Missy, and um, I want to show you another system that I use here in the office to keep us running like a well-oiled machine. Um, again, we moved our office earlier this year, and I knew with a bigger office and more employees and more patients, I knew that we would need crystal clear communication. And I firmly believe that an office that's a well-oiled machine really takes a whole team. And so it's helpful for everyone to know what's expected and what's going on. That way they can all participate. And it's all out there in the open so everyone knows um, who's responsible for what. No questions asked. So again, um, we're going to start with the iCloud. Um, and we're going to talk about the calendar. And yes, that is today, Wednesday, December 31st. That's New Year's Eve. I don't know where else in the world I'd rather be than right here at the dental office making videos. Um, it's the only time it can happen, right? It's too busy during the rest of the time, so it's perfect. So anyway, let's go right into the calendar. Okay, the way it works is that you build the calendar yourself. And it may take a while to really think about all the things you need to add, but it's always, I consider it like a work of art. It's never completely done. There's always things you're adding and changing to it. Um, and let me show you what ours sort of looks like. What you can do is you can create certain subcategories here, other calendars, if you will, and um, you know they're arranged by um, subject, but also they have a color assigned to them. So when you're looking at the calendar, you can easily see um, what belongs to what based on the color that it is. Let's start with an easy one here. So I have, for instance, if I were to click on office hours, you will see all of the days that our office is working and the times that we're working. You'll also see the color of a scrub jacket that we wear that day. We Everything is color coded around here. And so um, this is just helpful to remind everyone what colors to wear and what date. So wine's a color, not like what we're drinking or anything, I promise. So anyway, um, because the... Uh, jackets are related to when we're working. I've assigned those to both be the same color. But you know what you do when you assign something is that you can choose um, when you would like these to repeat. So I entered in wine color, just have it repeated every single week and pretty much it goes from now to the end of time. But we're always going to wear that wine color on Thursdays. Okay? Now if I go over here to when we're closed you'll see in green when the office is closed. And if you were to click ahead, you will see from now until the end of time when we're gonna be working and when we're gonna be closed. So typically that's done. I usually like to have the schedule finalized at least a year in advance, okay? But because of the, re the repeat feature, this can just keep going for forever, okay? So, if we were to look at another category here, let's actually go back. That's still loading, but let's go back to, I'm going to go with January. Okay, so here's our January. Now, I can take these off. If I don't really care, you know, what days were closed or what days were working, I can easily click those off and sort of move those away from everything else. What I can click on would be, let's say, front desk. Well, there are certain things that we like to do throughout the month, and when things get busy, it's easy they're easy to overlook, and I don't want to forget about those things. So typically, we write those on the calendar, and then there are reminders um, to get those things done. Now, if you notice, front desk has these things in yellow assigned, but we're closed on those days, except that she and I are still here <laughs> getting the phones and taking care of office stuff. So typically I like to um, assign things to those days that I know are easier to get to when there aren't patients here. So, you know, think about those kinds of things when you're deciding what you want to, to schedule on certain days. Um, all right, if we add office manager, that's me. Well, of course, I've got a million things to do every month. But there, these are great reminders of things that have to get done. Like, for example, this is today, December 31st. There's a reminder on there that today is the end of the fourth quarter. 
It's a reminder for me that I need to um, write an office blog and a uh, Next Step Dental Resource blog. It's a reminder that I have to send our quarterly tax information to the accountant. That's Donna. She's our accountant. Um, and then every Wednesday, I always have a reminder to make sure that we're doing some unfinished treatment follow-up. So, you know, stuff like that is really important to remember. You're not going to see this on every month, but it is assigned to every quarter to let me know when the end of the quarter is and when to send our accountant that quarterly information. You'll also find things like our bills. I'd like to know when certain bills are coming out during the month. And you'll notice um, here, this says to renew the HSA accounts. Well, you'll only find that in January because I don't need to do that the rest of the year, just in January. Um, you'll see here, I have plan April, May, and June quarter. Well, I bet if you flip ahead three months, you'll see plan July, August, and September quarter, right? So those are reminders to me to stay on top of those things. And I bet if you look at next January, there will be a reminder to plan April, May, and June in January 2016. So that's one of those things that repeats there every year. So that's pretty cool, right? There's a lot of things that happen in certain months that maybe don't happen in other months and having this sort this calendar as a reminder to do those things is huge like for example um oh you know what that's on the next one here staff participation well i like to include things like their birthdays and in blue here that they have to help me um, with the supply order and inventory stuff um, once a month we do an in-service so that it, those are always planned out when we're going to be doing those team meetings and then every year we review medical emergencies at our medical emergency kit. So, you know, that's something you're only going to ever find in January. You may see something else different in June or July. You may see things about, um, you know, a reminders to me on when I need to do someone's review or when someone's dental license, um, radiology license or hygienist license expires or whatever. You know, those sorts of things are sprinkled all throughout this calendar. Um, and again, the beauty of it is that you can adjust when you'd like things to repeat so that way they're always on your calendar and you don't have to really think about it anymore. Um, I've been doing the calendar thing for a couple of years actually. It's gotten way more intense the last year or so, but it's just been hugely important for me to, um, to rely on. And actually, if I pan this way, you can see a printout copy of it right over there because there's one here, there's one in our kitchen, there's one at the front desk. Um, we all have just really come to rely on it. The other category that I have here, and I'm gonna take these off so you can see, is like our office chores. We have certain things here that people are responsible for on a weekly basis, and then everyone in the office is assigned something else um, throughout the week. And this is very valuable because I'll know that, you know, next week I'll know who's responsible to oversee things like the bathroom or the sterilization area. That means I don't always have to be the one to make sure that those things are clean and done. And I don't have to chase someone down and say, hey, can you clean, you know, this or that. We are a team and we all do things together. And when it's all um, divided up evenly and you know I, I like to rotate these things so one person isn't stuck doing the same thing all the time um, you know I just find that we run so much better so much more efficiently I'm not you know stressing out because I have to figure it all out it's already all figured out and everyone knows it and um, you know it does look a little intense when you put everything on there at once but you know what I can tell you right now on any of these given days here, we all know what's expected and we all know what to do and I don't have to chase people around and, you know, make sure that those things have been done. Clearly, everyone knows what needs to get done on those days and um, I love it. That's a great, um, it's a, definitely a great organizational system to use in your office. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.